In this video, we will talk about a particular technique called three point lightning. So, we will continue to talk about artificial lights and lightning in V ray for Rhino, but this time we're going to use a different setting. You can see here I have created a small studio set. I will show you real quick how you can do it within minutes. So, I have uh, created something that can simulate what happens in photographic studios. Now, just as anything else, when you do a render, you always need to try to simulate reality. The closer you get to reality, the more your render will be realistic. Now, the first thing here I want to show you is where you get the model. And I'm using this model here, but you can use anything basically that it's uh, necessary for you if you are doing, for example, industrial design. You can use a chair. If you are doing product design, you can use a uh, can. Well, you can use anything. This uh, lighting setup is good when you have a single subject inside your frame here, inside your camera, and you want to uh, concentrate the attention of the viewer on that subject. Now, in my case, I'm using a model, a person. So if you go to renderpeople.com, you scroll all the way down, you will find here some free downloads. And I'm using this one here, which is an animated mesh. And uh, in Rhino, we, we will not animate this, but we can use the model and the textures. So you can see these are free models, so you can download it and use it. And I'm going to place a link in the description that you can use to get to the website and also support us. So click here and we're going to select FBX. FBX is a pretty common format and can be used in many software, including Rhino. So this is what we are going to use. And let's quickly check what three point lighting is. You can just do a Google search here and you can find a lot of images explaining to you and you will find a lot of examples. Most of them are in a photographic studio set. So basically this kind of lighting is based on three point light. So the first one is the key light, which is the, the main light, the most important. Then you have the fill light, which is gonna help you to uh, get rid of the shadows in the opposite part of the key light. And then you have the backlight, well, you also have other type of lights when you're using um, a photographic studio, but these are like the main three, the standard that you need to have. And, and then you can also, if you want, look for other information in uh, on the web. So here you, you will find a lot of infographics showing you the position of the camera, key light, field light. You can change the intensity, you can change the height, you can change the color, and then you can create your own system, your own set. But you can take inspiration from the web just as usual. Also, if you want to take inspiration from reality, you will find, again, a lot of examples here on how these main three lights are placed and how you can obtain sometimes the diffuse light or the concentrated light. And you can get spotlight effect air light and backlight, rim light, there are a lot of them. But let's say that the one, the light that comes from the back is gonna be called the backlight. And also again, you can see other settings, you can take inspirations, you can see what are the actual lights that are being used in reality. For example, we also have this reflector that are not actual light, but they used to bounce the light from uh, coming from another direction towards the subject and it's gonna help you to create a diffuse effect as well. So we are going to simulate those lights, those effects using the artificial lights in V-Ray. Now how to build this set here? Well, it's really simple. First of all, import your subject. You already saw how to do that in other videos. It's pretty simple, just extract the folder and all you need to do is drag and drop the only 3D file, which will be the FBX, and just place it and say insert, say OK, 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 OK. The only thing here is that you import it in the top view, it's going to look like this. So 
you may want to use the front view here like that and then just place it and it's gonna have textures and everything so everything should be really easy smooth and fast otherwise don't worry about it we are going to talk about materials and textures later on but there you can see our character so you can see I've already placed the character inside and then I built the this set around the hair so you need to select polyline I'm just gonna show you real quick how you do that so you just create a polyline like this you can also leave this uh, with the L shape like that and then you need to have a round corner to make it look a little bit better and smooth so go to curve and fill it curves and just select these two here one and two and then you can define also a fillet well if you know how to use Rhino this is pretty easy and then you just need to extrude this so just type extrude curve and there it is so this is another way you can create a simpler version also if you want you can find a video course in Rhino in the channel so this is the uh, result so far so you can see here I placed my lights and I've added a light that we didn't didn't see in the previous video which is the point light so here I'm going to turn everything off just to show you how I place those so let's for example activate only this backlight so let's start from the end and then we will see one by one okay so this is the effect here only with the backlights actually I think these are a couple of backlights so you are not limited to use just three lights here in this system you can also increase the number of lights you can use like three key lights or whatever just create with your fantasy do whatever you want to just make sure that everything looks good now let's see the other backlight here which is probably this one coming from the right okay and look at also how many beautiful effects you can create with these lights and just with a simple set like that and you can definitely see the work of the backlight which is uh, underlining these edges and make the subject uh, detach from the background so it's gonna have a more three-dimensional effect and now let's start to add the others so this is the fill key which is in the right side again and it's going to help to mitigate the shadows or to reduce the black shadows on the right part of my character so maybe here I need to increase it a little bit 